first in a series of monster mania ghouls and aliens is the metaluna mutant from aurora models Wait a minute, wait a minute, time out, time out. Now, Aurora never boxed the Metaluna Mutant in plastic form whatsoever. So what the heck is going on here? Anyway, this is what's been boxed for the first time. Brand new tool from Atlantis, the Metaluna Mutant. And this is an all plastic assembly kit. And this would be kit number 3005. Very cool there. And then on the back side here, they give us full details about the kit. And I think this is fantastic and we're looking for some even more uh, kits in the future from Atlantis. But this kit was sculpted by Ray Myers with the original bark box art by Dave Cockerham. So let's open this up and see what the parts are in store for us with this build. So I highly recommend you get this kit while you can because it is limited to 5,000 copies. So get it while you can. So here's the instructions and uh, black and white of course uh, just like the old Aurora, Aurora style and very simple to construct here looks like we construct the uh, the head first here on the left the arms and hands are the claws then we assemble the torso down below that and then the legs and the feet and then we combine all the head torso and legs and feet all in one assembly and then on the back side we uh, mount that to the base we have the standard base uh, it looks very similar to the same base that came with the uh, uh, King Ghidra kit and then they gave us some extra cutouts here of course this is from the movie This Island Earth and uh, kind of a funny looking monster in that movie not very convincing and to really not very scary so let's look at the kit parts here's the first tree of parts which includes the arms the back area to uh, lower torso and upper torso halves and the head so let's get a close-up of this very nice representation of the costume used in this island earth movie and the arms there. And what that would be representative of uh, covering for his, I would say his oxygen or whatever he breathes would be found behind that. This looks to be the front of the torso. And the back of the legs. Nicely sculpted there. And here's the next tree, which includes the base, the front of the legs, the back of the torso, the feet, claws, and the back of the head. Let's get a closer look. And here's the back of the head. Nicely detailed there. Brain matter, obviously. And here's the base. Here's the feet. The claws. Front of the legs. 
and the back of the torso and that's where that oxygen bottles or whatever they may be are mounted here. This is going to be a two-part video and obviously the first part is the review of the kit itself. I'm going to go ahead and uh, assemble the kit for the first part and we'll see how everything fits together. The second part will be the detailing and the painting of this kit, so stay tuned for that. That's going to come a little later. Let's go ahead and start building this thing. Start cutting these parts off. Very large attachment points, just like the old Aurora kits. Aurora never actually came out with this, so that's what makes this kit so fun. Now if you go search for original Aurora kits on eBay, they're just out of this world. Sometimes very hard to find, but luckily Polar Lights and Mobius and now Atlantis is either reissuing those kits or making new tools like this one. And like I was saying, this is limited to 5,000 copies, so it won't be out there forever and it will soon be a collectible. So I'm just cutting everything off. There's no part numbers on these trees anywhere, none at all. And it already comes in an action pose, which makes it pretty cool. Kind of weird how this is put together, but it does remind me of Aurora, Aurora very much so. You definitely have some ideas for lighting this kit. Let's start with the first assembly here. And you gotta put the eyes in. So we gather the eyes and pretty cool there. Looks like they insert from the outside. Yep, they sure do. Okay. So I'll do those in a second. Let's uh, see how this goes together here. There's little tabs that you line up. And I don't worry about the flash or cutting off the extra plastic until later when I go to sand it and smooth it out. So that, that goes together pretty good, actually. Okay. So bring my glue over and get everything tacky here. Get everything glued up here. Then 
definitely have to do some sanding there on the seams, but it looks pretty good. Now these have little keyways on them, it looks like. A little tab there. It's gonna go towards the inside, just like that. So I'm gonna tap a little glue on there. Capillary action's gonna put it where it needs to be and do the next one. Same way. And just make sure it's down all the way. It is, that looks good. Now we do the arms. Pretty self-explanatory here. Wow. Just pretty much line them up, left and right side, just like that. But before we glue them together, they, they have, have a hinge mechanism to them. So these here might want to clean them up just a little bit. Some little bit of flash, not much. So we don't have any interference on the inside. I'm actually going to uh, glue the pose so they won't move later on, but show you how this kit goes together with this. So this goes in there just like that, okay, and then same thing with the claws, we need to clean those up a little bit. Take a sanding stick and I actually have uh, the, the original vinyl kit that came out in Japan, Suzuka. I think it, I, I can't pronounce it correctly, but it's a vinyl kit of this in my collection. And I did do a review of it years ago, but it got taken down. Um, long story. My channel was hijacked and I got it back, but in that process, uh, that video was lost. And I, I thought I had it backed up, but I did not. Okay, so we can see how these claws go together and now we can put this together <laughs> if I don't drop everything on it it's my luck today right just watched the new Game of Thrones tonight pretty good if you're in the dragons so we'll put this together come on there we go And that's good. Okay, so we'll be very careful with the glue here. Kind of hold that for a second. And we'll glue the other side. Being careful I don't get close to the hinges. That's good. Okay, I'll put that aside, we'll do the other one. I think it's cool how this goes together. Okay. that dry still not done with these we got to put these shoulder pieces on ok 
Okay, so we'll put that on there. And that on there. And that will get glued. Hold that in place. Put that on. Glue that. And we'll let that dry. So now in step two, we uh, assemble the torso and uh, arms. You want them to kind of go like that. And we'll mount that right there in the socket joint. Same with the other side. Okay. Kind of keeping those out of the way. Then we'll put the front of the torso on. Sandwich that in. And that's sandwiched in there. Just like that. And take and glue this. So back in the day, if this was a real Aurora kit and we were assembling this, we wouldn't be using this extra thin type of glue, would we? We'd be using some testers glue or some Pactra glue. in here and do his torso. Actually, you can do it from the inside also. Put a clamp on that and we'll let that dry. The next step is to put his little oxygen pack on the back. And I'm going to do that in a little bit when the clamps are taken off. We'll put him aside to dry and we'll put the leg halves together. And it goes together like a puzzle there. There we go. And we'll glue that. And the seams go together very well considering. Hey, it's not a model kit unless you get to fill some seams and sand the seams and you know make everything look nice a little bit later which I'll do on the second video. I'll show you all that. Filling the seams and sanding the seams. Heck, the seam's kind of hard to see there. This would be a good kit for a beginner learning how to build models and I think it's a cool kit for that because it's a monster kit right it's a monster alien you know I never saw this movie as a child I saw it as an adult and I, I laughed my head off when I saw the monster the first time definitely didn't scare me now we can put the feet on now this is uh, where I noticed on the feet, there's quite a bit of flash, just like the old Aurora kits. We'll clean those off later. But they definitely go on a certain way. They're angled. Okay, so that looks like the angle needs to be that way and that way by the instructions. So that goes there, 
and now that goes there and that goes there okay so so I'm kind of standing him up to see the best way and we'll glue it like that that looks good okay we'll let that dry and I will be right back so before I glue this on I went ahead and I'm going to clean up uh, the sprue attachment point and any of the seam lines around there before I glue it down and it's just going to make it easier kind of go around it isn't really much there so it's cleaning up very nicely so that's that's pretty cool all right now yeah, let's bring over our torso and it has pretty much dried already there we go okay there are some areas in here we'll have to clean up but let's go ahead and mount this on top And that's how that looks there. This time I'm going to use my tester's glue for this. I love this stuff. and should go down right on it. Perfect. Okay. I'll reach in there with a little bit of wherever it comes in contact. good and should hold it in that's just kind of odd there that little opening and lastly his legs okay so there's a little bit of work here I need to clean off some flash first because lining that up some flash in the way Definitely a step here on both sides, so you may want to clean that up a little bit so it goes down nicely. So that's going to need a little bit of work. Okay, 
I'm going to take my Dremel tool and I'm going to clean that up. My sanding block here, sand that a little bit, smooth it out. And let's see how this goes. That looks much better. So it's the other side I need to work on a little bit here. Kind of clean that up. pretty good there. Do the same on the other side. That doesn't really matter there, but right here it does. So, just taking away the excess plastic and Try to get a good fit. So definitely that looks a lot better. Okay. Now if you wanted you could take and tack it with some super glue and then um, hit it with the regular extra thin. Might go ahead and do that. Okay. So I'm going to use a little bit of thick CA and I'm going to go on the inside in four corners. Just attack it. and it give me a chance to line everything up. And a little bit of kicker. That's good there. Now I can go in with some extra thin. bit of a gap on the back. Nothing that can't be corrected a little later. And I uh, need to put our head on next. There's a little bit of a blemish here where it was attached to the sprue tree. I need to clean that up just a little bit. Like that. There's actually a little bit of a seam going across here. So 
so I'm only doing that now because it'll probably be hard to get to next time and then the head goes right down on oh, it looks like it just press fits you wouldn't even have to glue it so you can turn it and get a pose okay I'm gonna glue it and just like that just gonna turn it a little bit to the left should be good pretty cool all right I'll be right back and lastly we uh, assemble the base and here's that uh, screen capture thing I'm not sure what they call that I should know but that's simply just going to slide into that right and get glued down um, I'm not going to glue it just yet because I want to uh, paint the base first before I glue it but that's how that looks and here he is And you can see it just barely fits on the base. But you can move them any way you want on there. Very cool there. All right, I'll be back. Okay, he is complete. He's all together. And he went together very well. There's just a couple areas that as you saw on the, from the torso and the legs area that need to be worked on a little bit. And there's a little bit of flash under his armpits, but uh, really it went together very well. It is a new tool, but like I said, they were, Atlantis wanted to keep this into the nearest form as far as being an Aurora kit. But uh, just like the box art on the left compared to the box art on the right. But, uh, Here's a close-up. Looks very convincing. It is a very nice sculpt, I must say, for a plastic model kit. And he went together very well. Let's look at the back side. And lots of detail on the back side. A little bit of seam work we need to do on the back end. And need to glue together his arm a little better there. That's my fault, not the kid's fault. But like I was saying, there is some flash in the armpit area that we'll have to address. But he went together very well. All right, so I made a big mistake with the arms. I actually put the uh, elbow sockets on wrong. You want to have a little more articulation with the arms so it looks more like that. And you want to have the, the back end of the uh, upper arm to be longer in the rear and more articulation up front. That is if you want them to move. I'm going to glue mine down and fill any seams that may be there. So there you have it. So that was an open box review and a build review all in one. This is part one. So stay tuned for part two in the Monster Mania Ghouls and Aliens at Scale Model Kit Review. Happy modeling, everybody, and take care.